hi um it has only been about almost two years since last time i posted on here why i don't know i am back today for a much requested in-home gym tour as a lot of you know about a year ago alex and i both quit our gym memberships and we built our dream gym in our house in our basement and wish we would have done it sooner to be completely honest so what i will be giving you guys in this video is the pros and cons of having an in-home gym a full gym tour the equipment that we got and then i will also give you a ballpark range of what we spent now we bought the highest quality equipment in the fitness industry market just because we both knew that we would be using this gym at least six times a week. Um, so we wanted the best equipment that we could possibly get. Now, for someone who's on a budget, you don't have to spend the kind of money that we did. We just spent it because we wanted the best equipment. But there are more affordable alternatives out there for everyone. You do not have to spend what we spent. We are gonna jump right into the gym tour and then I will come back and I will answer some questions that we've gotten. Basically, just give you the rundown on all of our equipment. some frequently asked questions that we get um so a lot of people ask what is the most used piece of equipment in our gym um or what do we think is worth investing your money in if you could only have one piece of equipment for me this one is very very hard so i personally use dumbbells every single day so if if I had to pick one thing, I would say get yourself a full set of dumbbells, and I mean five pounds up to a hundred, ideally. So we have obviously, as I showed you earlier, we have five up to 50. Um, I wish that we would have gotten heavier just because I like to do hip thrusts with dumbbells just because it feels a little bit more comfortable for me than using a barbell. So if we had up to 100, that would be ideal. For me, that's what I would say. I would say the full set of dumbbells would be the best bang for your buck. Um, you can do squats by putting dumbbells on your shoulders. You can do RDLs. You have all of your upper body workouts, lunges. Um, you can honestly find a dumbbell variation for literally any workout. So to me, that's what I would say. If I had to pick a second, I would say go with your barbell because just like dumbbells, you can do literally any variation of a workout with a barbell. I do have pricing right here in front of me so we can compare the cost of a full set of dumbbells and then the barbell with a full set of plates. There are obviously more affordable options out there than what we have. So for the Rogue dumbbell sets, a five to four, uh, five to 50 was ballpark a thousand dollars. So we have a 260 pound um, plate set and we have the bumper plates as I showed you before. That was ballpark $1,200 for just the plates only. And then the bar, $530. So your more affordable option with the Rogue brand is gonna be the dumbbells but if you're willing to spend you know that seven hundred dollar ish more for the barbell and the plates 
I would highly recommend doing so if you're gonna benefit from using the barbell and the plates more so than you would the dumbbells but like I said I I use the dumbbells in every single workout so for me that's what I would spend my money on going off of what I think the most essential piece of equipment is in our gym um, someone also asked what is our most utilized piece of equipment and I think looking at like an average day-to-day -day between both Alex and I what the most utilized piece of equipment is I would have to say our squat rack honestly now that is obviously a pricier piece of equipment but if you're looking at your daily workouts as a whole you can do a lot with this entire setup back here and I mean the barbell the um, rack and then the plates all included you can do quite a bit of workouts um, but on a day-to-day -day basis what do both of us use the most I would say would be our squat rack looking at our pricing I think it was ballpark seventeen hundred dollars if I am remembering correctly now this was a, a little over a year ago so prices could have changed. Another question is what piece of equipment should you splurge on and what can you save a little bit on? For me, I would splurge on your big heavy duty pieces of equipment. So like for reference, a squat rack behind me, I would not get a cheap rack just because there's also that off chance of you buying a cheaper rack and then you're squatting and the thing falls apart on you. That is something that I would not want and like I said earlier, for us, we are gonna be using this for the rest of our lives. So that's why we kind of splurged on the squat rack, just because we wanted the heavier duty piece of equipment that we knew wasn't gonna fall apart. Um, the things that you could save a little bit of money on would be any accessory piece of equipment that you're gonna be using like your platforms, your booty bands, um, your workout bands. But also probably save a little bit on mirrors um, to get like a huge mirror from Ikea and just place it in the corner, something like that. Okay, and then lastly, before I end this video, we're gonna jump into the pros and the cons of owning a home gym. Pros, you get to work out whenever you want. You get to wear whatever you want. You can come down into your basement gym without makeup on five minutes after you woke up and work out and you don't have to worry about anyone looking at you wondering why you look like a zombie and why you're working out. You can use as much equipment as you want without people being mad at you. You can do supersets. You can literally use all of your equipment in your gym and nobody cares. For me, gym creeps was a huge reason why we did this gym. I don't like being stared at by old men while I'm trying to work out. It's very unmotivating for me. So that is another huge pro is that there's no 50 year old men in my basement. Some cons that I have, which I guess this one would be a pro and a con, kind of mixed all in one, is that you literally have zero excuses as to why you can't work out. Um, that is a pro, that is a con, because sometimes when you're feeling like crap and you know that you just need to take a day to rest, it's in your head that it, like, the gym is literally steps away from you, just get up and go do it. You literally have no excuse not to. Sometimes that can be a bad thing because you might really need the rest, but your mind is like, no, you're, there's a gym in your basement, go work out. I'd say that would be a pro and a con, that you literally have no excuses to not work out. Another con, so for, this only happened to me for the first couple of months, but it was very hard for me to get motivated and to get into the right headspace because you are coming downstairs in your home to work out. So it's not like you're actively getting up, getting ready, going to the gym, being in that atmosphere with the loud music and like everyone else around you working out. You're not really super motivated in the beginning, but that feeling kind of only lasted for, I would say maybe like a month or two. And obviously that's a long time um, for someone to get discouraged, but once you get past that, like not being in a gym environment with other people feeling and feeling a little bit less like motivated, it's great. I don't really have any other cons. I think um, 
I kind of wish that we would have made it a little bit bigger. Once you get three people in here, it gets to be a little bit crowded. So I guess that's only like a sliver of a con is that I wish it was just a tiny bit bigger so that you could comfortably get three to four people working out in here at the same time because I love working out with other people because it just kind of makes you feel motivated and happy and you're pushed to you know, lift heavier and heavier. And that, I don't really have any cons. All together, everything included, our final investment was, I would say, ballpark between eight to 10 grand. Again, we bought the most expensive equipment and we literally made a mini bodybuilding gym in our basement. So we went all out. With that being said, um, that is all the chatting that I have for you guys. We are gonna jump into a workout now and utilize this equipment. We are obviously hitting booty today for this workout. It only feels right. So we're gonna turn on a little booty remix. Now the really nice thing about this stereo system is that it's Bluetooth. It's an LG something. Let's see what we're gonna play. I've been fucking on some poppin' feelings, man, I feel it's like a rock star I've been fucking on some poppin' feelings, man, I feel it's like a rock star All my brothers got that gas and they always been smoking like a rock star Fuckin' with me, call up on the Uzi and show up and then they shot down And my homies pull up on your back and make that thing go crap, da, da, da Switch my wake and back and back and start to say rest in peace to one star that we blow as much as me light a fire like a more sound Hit the full stage, probably leave my fucking show in the cough car She was legendary through a TV other way I'm gonna do time. RDLs with the dumbbell so that those of you who are gonna invest in dumbbells can kind of get a visual of how I do RDLs with a dumbbell instead of a barbell but another thing I forgot to mention are these lifting straps um, they are not necessary for me, my grip strength is not that strong and I have no desire to strengthen it. So I got these from Amazon and I have them linked in my Amazon storefront under my gym section. These are so good for when you wanna lift a little bit heavier, when you know your legs can handle so much more than your actual hands can. You use these so it's just a quick slip on and then Velcro situation you just hold it like that all right on to rdls <laughs> Show up and then they shut down. Uh, and my homies pull up on your back and make that thing go crap, da, da, da. 
TikTok and post here and there on Instagram. So go ahead and follow that. I'll continue to, up to upload YouTube shorts on here and hopefully just get a lot more content out to you guys than I have been in the past two years. So like, subscribe, comment. If you have any questions, I'll answer any questions that you guys have about our gym equipment below or shoot me a DM on any platform and I'll see you guys later.